Ooh, back to the reality. That was pretty dirty though. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we have Jungo throwing the new altered reality from 900 Global. The original reality is one of Jungo's favorite balls. He drilled two of them, so he's really excited to see how this rolls. So the altered reality has the exact same core as the original reality. The only change is the cover being a pearl. So naturally we expect it to be longer and a little bit sharper off the spot. Today Jung will be comparing this ball to these two here. We have the Zen and the RST X2. Initial predictions, I think that the altered reality is gonna hook a little bit more than the Zen, and I think the RST is gonna be the longest and the sharpest out of the three here. We're bowling on two patterns today. One of them is our burnt up league pattern, Route 66, after about 12 games of play. And on the other lane, we have trusty old carbon, pretty close to your typical house shot. That's it for me, let's head out onto the lanes. Jungle's back. Altered reality. I'm actually pretty pumped for this. So we got a little something different here today. We got Route 66, but already bowled league on it. Uh, four games times three people per lane. So we got some burn here. And I think this is where this ball would really do well. All right, I'm gonna stand on 30, and I'm gonna aim for 21 at the arrows here. All right, really good shot there. Had a little bit of early read. Left kind of like a weak Swisher Messenger 10. So I think we're just gonna have to bump a little bit left off of that. Get that nice snap down lane. Kind of feels like game four or five of a tournament. You know, lanes have been a little bit beat up. Not sure where people have been bowling. Not sure what kind of balls they've been using. So we'll bump a couple left here. There we go. Had to catch a little bit more oil for a little bit longer. Gave that ball a much better shape going into the pins. Really nice. Let's go two more to the left. That was really good. Let's let's see if it can strike from a little bit further left. Yeah, just a little bit too narrow with that one. Now we know the limits of that one. Let's throw my favorite ASIM Pearl here, the uh, X2. Just from throwing the altered reality, I think the X2 goes a little bit further down lane and hooks a little bit less. Back to the line I struck with the uh, reality. Oh, wow. A few boards weaker. That felt pretty good off the hand too. Oh, this reality is strong, man. Okay, let's bump a couple to the right. X2 should look really good. Where the altered reality kind of burned up in the mid lane there. This should look really nice right here. Yeah, definitely pushed a little bit further down lane than the altered reality. Reality is definitely stronger. Couple boards, two or three. All right, let's throw the Zen. This ball is so popular. Gotta throw it, same line. That picked up pretty early as well. It's got a massive symmetric core, so that ball does rev up a little bit earlier for me. That was pretty dirty though. This Zen I find is deeper I get, the better it gets. Just cause it has that pretty crazy continuation. Okay, this is where the uh, reality struck from. Yeah, you can see it has that, picks up in the mid line like the reality, but just doesn't have that pop at the back end. A Little bit weaker cover, bigger core, so it's gonna rev up a little bit earlier. Back to the reality. Two more left of where I threw the previous shot. Just a little bit deep for it. So let's stay there, slow the speed down a little bit. That was sweet. Split the eight nine. So longer pattern, a little bit of burn, 
this ball is going to look really nice. It's going to have that mid lane read that you need on the longer patterns when it's not totally burnt up yet and still have that back end pop because you got to be left, right? Because the, the fronts here have gone. They're so dry in the fronts because everybody started with surface, 500 grit, 1000 grit, using big balls. So you got to be left of that. You got to catch the wheel. Yeah, Barks had to use 180 grit today. <laughs> Let's go two more to the left. Definitely too deep for it now. Still made it back though, still carried. A little weak seven carry, a little bit weak. Needs to hit those dry boards to the right a little bit sooner. So let's move back a couple. Let's throw the Zen from that spot. I think Zen will be just as early in the mid lane, but won't have that continuation down lane like the altered reality. We might leave a 10 pin here. Yeah, it just doesn't have enough down lane yet. When the lanes get beat up a little bit more, then this Zen will look really nice. All right, I think I've seen what this ball can do on a little bit of burn on a longer pattern. Let's over to the house shot lane and see how it performs on the fresh house shot. All right, about halfway through the vid, uh, we're just about to move over to the house shot lane. So it's been about a year since Storm took over the manufacturing of 900 Global brand. Has your perception changed? Are you more willing to buy a 900 Global ball now that Storm makes it? Let us know down in the comments. All right, we're over here on the house shot lane. Pretty fresh. We're gonna see how these balls roll in the fresh house shot here. So as early as this ball rolls, kind of like the reality itself, I think it should look really good here. Wow, that was actually a pretty decent shot. Kind of checked up in the mid lane and went high. Ball hooks a lot. Let's move a couple left here. Not bad, missed one board inside a target there. Uh, held this line pretty nice. Has that nice mid lane roll, right? Gets through the pins really good. Let's just uh, move my eyes one to the right. Get it out to the dry a little bit soon. Okay, that was perfect. Red in the right spot, went through the pins perfectly. This ball can do really good on the house shot. It can do some damage. It's got that strong core. Even though it's got a shiny cover stock, it still looks pretty good on the fresh. Let's throw the Zen on that same line there. House shots definitely make the discrepancy between the balls a little bit less. So balls are gonna look more similar on the house shot. Definitely a little bit less hook potential out of the Zen. Gonna have to bump a couple boards right with the Zen. Let's move two right. Yeah, perfect. So, Couple boards, less hook potential out of the Zen on the house pattern. It's gonna be a little bit more on a sport pattern, like on burn, kinda on the lane before this. Pretty good one-two punch though, I'd say. All right, let's move a couple boards left with the reality. Make sure we get out to the dry. Really strong, that ball's strong. <laughs> I like to swing the whole lane, hook it a whole bunch. This ball's gonna be nice. Let's move a couple more to the left. that ball digs hard. Definitely much more angular than the reality. I don't have a pin up one, so not throwing it today. This definitely a little bit longer, stronger off the spot. Let's go two more. All right, still looks pretty good, but that 10 went a little bit late there, so almost getting to the maximum. I'm actually pretty impressed of how strong this ball is. I originally thought it might be similar to the X2, but Definitely earlier, a little bit more than the X2. Okay, let's go three more. <laughs> let's go three more. Bark says I had to throw it one quarter a mile an hour slower to get the eight out. Oh my God. This ball does not quit. I'm waiting for it to peter out and kind of leave a weak 10. Not doing it. Okay, three more. Where am I standing right now, dude? 44? Still got there. Let's keep going. 47.
This is a house shot though, but still, that's crazy. How deep can I go? 50. Whew, I'm gonna run out of lane soon. The ball just keeps looking. Okay, 53. We're in loft ditch zone here. Oh my God, this ball's crazy. Okay, one more, three more to the left. Actually, let's stand on 60. All right, that's the end of it. That's the end of the run. Let's head back to the shop. Altered reality check. You're welcome, Simon. All right, jungle's back from the lanes throwing the altered reality. Uh, this ball is super strong. First impressions, really strong. Way stronger than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't throw it against the original reality because I didn't have a pin up one drilled, I just have a pin down one. And we're bowling on burned up conditions, so pin down one probably would leave me five, seven, 10 or something like that. So I didn't want to throw it. I'm kidding. We bowled on Route 66 uh, right after our league. So there's three, three person teams times four games. So there's quite a bit of traffic on the lanes and I'm not sure where people were bowling or what kind of balls they were using, but I know we have to be left. We have to be inside and play pretty close to the head pin with the break point. So I threw the ultimate reality and it hooked a ton. It hooked pretty early. It had a really early rolling reaction. So the further left I got into the oil, the better it looked. Definitely out hooked the Zen by three to four boards. Out hooked the X2 here by a couple boards as well. The X2 is definitely a little bit longer and a little bit sharper than the altered reality. Zen here picks up quite early as well in the mid lane and just isn't as continuous or as sharp as the altered reality here. So this is a really big tank, guys. This ball hooks a ton. I would recommend this ball for definitely longer conditions, more heavy oil. If you wanted to hook a little bit earlier and have a little bit more even shape, taking the surface down to maybe 2000 would be really good too. I'm gonna say it's a really good complement to the original reality if I had one with the same layout. Probably just be a little bit longer and a little bit more off the spot than the reality. Then we moved over to the house shot lane. I wasn't sure how this was gonna look on the house shot lane just because house shots, you kind of want early rolling, even bowling balls. Blend out the pattern because it is like 10 to one. So the, the middle is really oily, the outside is really dry. So you wanna create that error room, that miss room. And balls that are really sharp don't really do that for you. But this rolls early enough that it did create that room. I was, I got lined up then I kept moving left, left, left and it kept Hooking in the right spot and going through the pins pretty good. I was so surprised how far left I could get. And this ball turned the corner, went through the pins and kept carrying everything. I would recommend this ball for people who have high ball speeds and have trouble making the ball turn the corner on longer conditions. Or if you bowl in an oily center, a center that has quite a bit of oil for their house pattern or the lane surface is really hard and slick. You're gonna need a ball like the Altered Reality. Picks up in the mid lane really nice and has that crazy continuation down through the pin deck. For me, my solid reality is drilled pin down and it's really early rolling and really flat off the spot. Helps me control the shape on the fresher conditions. This is a really good complement to that. This ball goes a little bit further down lane and then really corners much harder. So for me, that's a really good one-two punch, but my reality does have a different layout on it. So if I had the same layout on the reality and this, it would be much closer together, but I still think it'd be a really good one two combo. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget our question down below. Has your opinion changed about 900 global after Storm has acquired it? Now that I can throw these balls, these balls are really good. I have a few in my bag for tournaments and for league play and they just keep getting better and better. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next bit.